going to show you how you could take text and turn it into speech. This is also known as TTS or text to speech. So why would you ever want to do that? Well, I don't know. Maybe you want to have your computer read you a bedtime story, or maybe you want to include your voice on top of a video. There are many different reasons. I've gotten feedback on my YouTube channel that my voice sounds a little bit robotic. So I was curious, could the computer do a better job than me? Here's what I pulled together. The Kevin Cookie Company makes some of the most delicious cookies that you've probably never had before. If you haven't had a KCC cookie, you haven't had a cookie. Find the nearest location at kevincookiecompany.com and enjoy the best. Well, what did you think? Which one sounded more robotic, me or the computer? First, I'll show you how you can do it without having to install any other software. You have everything that you need with Windows 10. And then I'll show you how you can get another application that gives you a little bit more control. At the very end, I'll show you one more app that gives you access to a whole bunch of different voices. All right, let's check out how we can pull this off. To kick things off, I want to show you how you can convert text into speech using apps that come pre-installed and also for free with Windows 10. And the first app that we're going to use is called OneNote for Windows 10. To access this, go down to your taskbar into the search field and type in OneNote. You'll see the best match for OneNote for Windows 10. Click on this one. If you search for OneNote but you don't see anything show up, don't worry, you can still get it entirely for free. Simply open up the Microsoft Store app and in the top right hand corner, click on search. Then type in OneNote and right here we see OneNote for Windows 10. You can click on that and then you can download it right here and install it on your computer. With OneNote open, I've already composed some text in here that I want the computer to read to me. This is the text that you heard in the Kevin Cookie Company commercial. To have the computer read to me, up on top I have all these different tabs. I'll click on the one called View. And right here, there's a feature called Immersive Reader. Let's click on that. This opens up the Immersive Reader. And if you've never seen this before, the Immersive Reader makes it really easy to focus on the text that you're reading. Here you'll see my text has double spacing. Also up here, I could change the text preferences. I could change the background theme. Over here, I could adjust different grammar options and I could also adjust my reading preferences. So this way, I truly just focus on this content. However, I want the computer to read to me and to do that, right down here, there's a play icon. When I click on this, OneNote will read to me. The Kevin Cookie Company makes some of the most delicious cookies that you've probably never had before. So I can have it go through and read all of this. To the right of the play icon, I can also click into voice settings and here I could adjust the voice speed. I could have it go extremely fast or even very slow. I could adjust the speed there. Down below, I could also choose the voice that I want to have read to me. I could have a male voice or a female voice, but with this, I only have two separate options. Now that we know how we can have the computer read to us, what if we want to record it? So let's say you want to put this on top of a video, or maybe you just want to save the text so you can listen back to it later. Well, to do this, we're going to use another app that comes with Windows 10 called the Voice Recorder. But before we open that, we have to make one setting change. To make the setting change, back on your desktop, go down to the search field on the taskbar and here type in sound settings. Let's click into the best match. This opens up sound settings and we want the computer to record what's being played in OneNote. So we need to modify the input. Right down here, when I click on input, I see all of my different microphones, but I don't see the option to record system sound. And once again, I wanna record system sound so it records what's being played in OneNote. Here, I can go down and let's click on manage sound devices. Within manage sound devices, here we can see all of our output devices. We could also see all of our input devices. And down here, there's one disabled option called stereo mix. Let's click on that and then select enable. This now adds it as one of the input devices. This will allow us to record our system sound using the voice recorder. Now, if you don't see stereo mix as one of the options and you can't enable it, don't worry, the next option will allow you to do it, but it will require an install. Back on the main sound screen, under input, select stereo mix. This will once again allow you to record your system sound. Once you select that, you can close out of this window. Now that we've finished making that one setting adjustment, go back down to your taskbar and now we want to open up the voice recorder. Type in voice recorder and then click on the best match. 
That'll open up the voice recorder, and it's a pretty simple app. You can't really go wrong with this. Right in the center, there's a large button that allows you to start recording.